Well, Mark is once again in the finals. Are you nervous for him? Like, what are you thinking? No, I'm not nervous. I think that, uh, you know, nerves, if you are nervous, you channel it to to win the competition. I'm not nervous. I'm very proud of him. I think, I think him and Sean have been the most consistent couple from week one to the end. Jill has had some ups, she's had some downs. Melissa's had some ups and downs, but Sean has been like just, she's been the most consistent. So it could be anybody's game. And I think the person who makes the most errors is gonna, is the one who makes the most, the least errors is gonna win. <laughs> Okay. Now tell me, you actually you helped produce three of the Mirabal Trophy winners when you have Julianne, Derek... Well, those are my three kids, Mark, Derek, and Julianne, and they've won the last four seasons in a row, actually. So it could be quite something if they, if Mark could take that again with Sean. Now are we going to get you back on Dancing with the Stars anytime soon? Well, I'm always raring to go. She's just got to be the right lady. You know, she can't be this tall or I'm out of business. <laughs> And she can't be too young because I'm almost 50 and I don't want to dance with a kid. So it's got to be the right lady. But I'll tell you the one I want to dance with. I want to dance with Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul? And I'll tell you why. Because what? we're the same age. They've never had a couple in their almost 50 years old competing. Never have they had that. It's always been a, an older lady with a younger guy. So that would be a first. Mm -hmm. And what did you learn from Miss Flores? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what I did learn. I learned that my mind has to be like a parachute, always open. Very cool. Thank you so much, Mark. My pleasure.